Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I will have a little play with my ink tense again. Can you believe it? I will do a color jet video. I don't know what to talk about, but I will have fun. And that is something, yeah, I'm sure. I picked out already a page. And first I picked out this one. I really wanted to color this one and then I spotted the little bunny one and I was like, yeah, I want to do this one. Because I like to add a back, uh, black background to the page and make my ink tint colors pop very bright. So yeah, I think I go for this one and color this one in the future because it's really cute. So for now I will color this one. Let me pick out some of the pencils. I like this cream color. I think it's this one. I still don't have a case or anything for my extra colors. I keep them tied together with a rubber band. That's okay. And I have my wooden box next to me. Let me show you. I have the 72 set in this wooden box. I would love to have a set 100, a wooden one, and have all my pencils together. But it's working out and I didn't use my ink tents often. So I was okay with having some of them. I picked out the fern color and the fine color and I will use my Tombow pen. It's a colorless Tombow and I was testing out recently some of my yeah, the tips that I got from other people. Let me start basing with the fern. Let me zoom you in. I had to check if I was still in frame. I had some great tips when I first tested out um, intense pencils and I tried some of it in a different video. I hope it will be up already, otherwise I mixed <laughs> them up. <laughs> Can happen, that's okay. If it will happen if this one is first, but I really hope I do the right way around and I find out that I really enjoyed using my intense pencils when I also use, combine it with my Tombow, colorless Tombow pen. I don't know if it really is a blender pen, but you can use it to blend your Tombow markers together. To create some nice ombre effect or yeah you can do the tip to tip method to have your color be strong and fading out but you also can use it to activate the ink tense pencils and I always was scared to use my ink tense pencils and I really wanted to get to know my ink tense pencils so I promised myself to use them more and have a play with them every month until I discover them and having fun with them and I can use them without any fear. And you know about my journey if you watched the previous videos about it and I'm at this point that I feel confident to think, yeah, let's do a color chat video. I think there's pencils because I want to use them and I think it will be fun to use them on the page and yeah it is a big switch in my mind and that's great right the thing that I didn't like before about using my intense pencils was really 
the harsh lines that I uh, get when I activate the pencils. I didn't like it and I didn't know how to get rid of it. Well, the Tombow is the solution to it. So, let's use it soon. First, blend in some of the darker color. I discovered that I like it when I shade before activate. It's easier for me and I can always add more later. You can do a lot of layers with your intense pencils if you let it dry in between. The thing that I also found out with the Tombow marker, your paper won't buckle. And even in the Swedish edition, when the paper is thinner, compared to the Dutch editions, there is no buckling at all. So that's great, in my opinion. I don't mind buckling papers. I love the sound of the paper when you move it and it's crackling and you feel your watercolor. So yeah, I was not really worried about it, but I know some people don't like it that much. So yeah, that's great. Let's start activating. You can see it was very, very quickly. And if I get a roll of it, I might be using them more and complete more, create more pages a month. It's nice when not every page takes up days of work and you flip through and you only complete it like, yeah, 50 after a year of coloring. You know what I mean? It's not about the amount of time, right? But owning a lot of coloring books, it's nice when you are able to sit, flip down, uh, sit down and flip your coloring books when you don't feel good enough to color and you still can enjoy a lot of your pages colored. I simply enjoy my Mandala book a lot to flip because most of the book is colored now. It's over 50% and all those colored pages, yeah, it's, it's great to look at. And having some things that will speed up your process will be great. It's not about the race. It's not about getting your pages complete very quickly or anything. That's not what I mean. It has to be still relaxing and fun to play. But the page sometimes, especially when you have a very detailed page and it's double side spread, a double page, it can take so many hours of coloring. I have some projects colored that were close to 80 hours and that's just insane if you think about it. So sometimes you want to have something quick to play with where you don't have to yeah, have a deep thought with and see some coloring progress on your page. And if it's also turning out completely beautiful and the way you like it and it was less effort, yeah, maybe it can be a little bit more enjoyable. I'm not saying that I won't enjoy those long process pages, but sometimes I'm simply not in the mood to go for those complicated pages. I know some people dive in the color by number coloring books. I don't own any of the color by numbers yet. I might want to try it in the future. But I also see that a lot of them are colored in with the markers and I'm not that huge fan of markers. And I think maybe that's the reason why I never went for it. I don't know. And also the thing that someone else was picking the course for me is not really excited. I like to control my own page. And I'm sure you can draw every color you like to the page, the color by number, but yeah. I don't know. I might want to try it in the future. If I want to use a, 
some might as in the moment. I like to do the spiroglyphics, the circular ones, and you just color in the lines and pick out the color and go for it. It can be really relaxing to try it. Or maybe if I finish those books, I want to try a color by number and I might change my mind, right? Because my opinion sometimes is switching over and changing. I don't mind it. But for now, I haven't tried it yet. And yeah, I think this might be fun to speed up the process a little bit more and create beautiful pages. The thing I like about uh, activating it with the Tombow, it's not only it's not bubbling, but it's also creating the nice vibrant look of the intents. I really like it's more vibrant than activating it with water. And also the there are no harsh lines, so that's great. So let me clean off. The tip will stain, you see. It won't get cleaner than this. So I might want to get some extra in the future for every color family. So a pink one and a yellow one and a blue one and label it so I know which one to use with which color family. You might like it. I really see the flowers very bright pink. So I will have a look with all the pink colors. And I already spotted this one. So I think I will go with the pink flamingo color. It's one of the new colors. And you can see it. It's really standing out there. Yeah. I think it will be pretty. I don't have to sharpen it. I think I will be okay. I think it will be pretty, the pink against the green and the black background. I really wanted to create something bright, a vibrant and a page that made me smile. A happy page. I know it's May and uh, it's time for mermaid and I picked out a bunch of uh, mermaid pictures. I'm really feeling it at the moment so that's the reason why I went with this one and I think it's okay. We can color whatever we want and yeah. It's okay if we change our mind right. Well, let's activate again. And I start with the light part and blend it together to the bottom where I put down more pigment. I also use this with my watercolor paintbrush. I always start at the lightest part and activate it to the darker part. It doesn't really change a lot, I think, with a marker. Let's see if there's any bleed through. And there isn't, so that's great. I want to avoid one color in the set. Let me show you. In the intense set, there's one color. In the new colors, you can see it's bleeding through the page. And I activated this one with water. And it is this purple, blue, violet, violet blue 0805 color. And it will go through. You can see it's not because of the use of water or anything. It's just the pigment in the pencil that will be true. But something to keep in mind. If you don't want it to happen, don't use the color. If you don't mind and you are using it on a single sided page and the back is... Yeah, there is no illustration on the back, you can go use it. Or you are creating your own artwork with nothing on the back. You can go for it, right? 
And if you don't like the illustration on the back and you don't mind messing it up, go for it. I think it's really relaxing. The color this way. I'm liking it. I don't create the same depth in my pages, I think, this way. I might want to add something extra. Do I want to add in the cherry red? We'll see. Let's try it. No. I'll try a little on the bottom. It's also dry. I dried up immediately. Really, you can go layer and build your colors, and that's something that I really like about the Tombows. When you're using the water brush, you have to wait a little while. Let me see if I like it this way. I always can go on top with uh, Christmas or any other Darren color pencils. Also Polychromos pencils by Faber Castell work great on top of the intense. They might even yeah, look a little bit better because those are harder pencils so you can shade easier with them without leaving the harsh lines. And it might vary with your technique really. But for me, it's a little easier. There's a lot of noise outside. I really hope it's not bothering too much. I really hope you are not able to hear it on the camera. Sometimes I'm making excuses about noise outside and then I'm watching certain parts back and then I'm like, oh, they were, no, we're barely hearing it. And it's okay, so yeah, I will try to mention it less. We uh, are having this time that in our neighborhood that we get new uh, electric um, lines. So we had days without electricity. That was fun. <laughs> So that's why there are a lot of noises also. Let me take a sip of my tea. And I want to do something different with those leaves. I want to make them a different color green so they will stand out more. And There are also different ones. Those I like to make. Um, what do I want? Yeah. Ionian green. Put some in the middle. And leave some white lines around it and test if it will work. Oh yes, it will work. You can play around with highlights and shading also. <laughs> Fun. I'm liking it. So around the branch I will add in the intents and around the edge of the leaf I will leave it. <laughs> I 
think it's fun to use them now and yeah, I feel okay with it. I know there were more people afraid of using the internet and I hope if you see the videos that I'm posting and watching them and try something for yourself and you are not scared anymore of them and create beautiful pages with them that you only can yeah, create it when you face your fears, right? I have some more art supplies that I procrastinate on getting to know and I think it's okay to face one at a time and get to know it and I know which one I will take on next time. I have invested a lot of money in the pampas stones and I really want to get to know them also but maybe it's more for the fall season and having a play with my ink tents the whole spring and summertime and yeah I think it's great I really like this. I must admit, the pages in this book are more simpler and quicker to color. But even the result is better than yeah, before I was using the internet. So. I don't feel in a hurry today, that's great. Sometimes when I'm filming, I want to film a lot. And then I'm like, yeah, making this and making that. And that's the time today. We have a lot at our plate. Last week, and um, yeah, sometimes that's happening. So I'm happy that it's yeah, not that busy anymore. At this point, it may change in the next few days, but for now, today. Also want to take a look at some brown and see if I can activate the branches also and see the complete result of it. There's a lot of pigment. It's not really clean, but okay. Let me find it. There's only one color of brown. Jumping out of me, it's the oak. So let's get the oak color. Maybe I want to use the other side because it's a very small area. I haven't used this uh, site a lot yet, so yeah, it's great that we can choose between those, right? That we have options. I also had a play with um, blender pens by the event itself. Let me show you the pens. It's the this one. It's sold in a pack of two. You got two different, a big one, it's softer, and a small one, it's harder. And you can also activate it. 
let me just show you a little. I'm not a huge fan of them, they are harder and the result is less bright. I think I get a better result with a um, Tombow. And that's why I went for the Tombow. And there is a line now. Because there's a little reaction between the Tombow and the... There went one. I'm happy with it. It feels so great, really, using them and yeah. getting more use out of my art supplies is great. I invest a lot of money in my art supplies to have a great time with them, to enjoy my art supplies. And if they are laying all the time in my collection and don't get used, I feel a little bit guilty, I think, because of the money I spent on it. But now, when I'm using them, it feels great, and I'm thinking, yeah, see, I enjoy them. It's a good investment. It's always good to invest in relaxation, I think, and enjoyment, and... It's a little bit more expensive to use your Tombow pens with it, but if it gets the pressure of it from your shoulders, I think it's worth it. It's also brighter and yeah. I think that's important for me also. It will have a nicer result. Let me use the other side. It's, this uh, brush nib is more juicier compared to the small nib. But in those little tiny areas, spaces of my page, I'm enjoying it using the harder tip to clean it up. I really hope you enjoy it and that you will have some more plays with your intents and if you are proud and you like it you always can show me a picture of it with um, on Instagram sometimes I receive beautiful pictures of people um, coloring pages and they trade uh, tried out something that I showed or yeah they followed uh, a tutorial, a color chat, or yeah, I enjoy those pictures. So don't hesitate to send it to me. Sometimes it can a little take a little time before I am responding because we are all in different time zones, right? So don't worry about it. You can send me it, and I will see it at the moment that I have time for it. So even if you know it's in the middle of the night for me, don't hesitate, send it, I will be okay. You won't wake me up, that's what I want to say. Sugar plum. I have my colors next to me, so I went for those two, Amethyst and Sugar Plum. And I've used the colors before on a big flower when I colored a whole page with just two pencils. And I'm so happy that I first started really small and get to know them better. 
and that I feel okay now to yeah, sit here with my swatch card next to me and think it's okay to pick the colors that I like for the whole page. And I can combine them and you can see how fast you will grow with the new art supply, right? It was just a few weeks ago, maybe two months ago, that I really wanted to challenge myself using them. So. I want something with yellow, but I'm afraid that it will stain. We will try, we will see. That is nice, yeah, uh, lemon, yellow color. Um, let me go for the color, the middle color. There's also a bunch of great yellows in the other set, so you can go for the sun yellow, the cadmium yellow. Those are also very beautiful. I go for the gold. If I can find it. Then go gold. I haven't sharpened this one, so let me. Sometimes there is this little coating on top of my pencils, and when you sharpen, you can get rid of it. And the pencil will work better without the coating. I really had some problem with coatings on pencils in the in the past. Do I want it with a hard one? No, it's not really dissolving nicely. So much fun to play with them. I think I will do the bunny. I think it's way too dark. So I don't know. I like making uh, her or him brown. But there are also brown colors in the new set. So go for the one brown, I think. Natural versus the other one. I need to have it right somewhere. Oh, sorry for the noise. Is it this one? No, yeah, this burnt under. Okay, let me remove the. Oh. And that's why I like to have them in a case. Natural brown. Oh yeah, right. And I was, yeah, you see, I was thinking. I was looking at Walmart. <laughs> it's natural. So, put the elastic bending, the rubber bands on top of it again. Natural brown. I don't know. Go with a very soft layer. I know you can go on top with lighter colors. That's great about the ink tins. When you use um, ink tins as a base, you can go on top with your color pencils and add extra highlights and shading. If you try to do this with yeah, prismas or anything else, and try to add extra highlights, you might be have more struggle with it, challenge. So, let me see if he made a big mistake. really 
reddish brown. The thing that I'm not able to do is draw in all my hairs with my slice tool because there is no yeah, wax build up. You cannot create the texture in your watercolor this way. Something to keep in mind, be aware of. I think I'm liking it. You can use more shading with a different color. I have to show in this one also. You can collect all the shavings, all the pigments, and activate it with the water brush or with a marker and create more. I fill up a watercolor pen. I know some people do it and you get more use out of the pencils. I'm okay this way. <laughs> For now. Another layer with different color on top. You can see, you can play around with it endlessly. And I'm having fun. That's great. I feel really relaxed using them now and yeah. Great. I think I will finish the rest on my own. I will paint in the background with black acrylic paint. I will use the Signal Ball Uni Cold for the stars and create some glow around it on top of the background. And I will use the same colors at the other side of the page and yeah, call it done. I think I will go with some gray for the rock. Or will I do maybe some green? And I think it's grass hill then. Not sure. I will see. You will see it in the finished pages of May. And yeah. I will say thank you for watching. I will wish you a lot of fun coloring. And I really hope to see you next time. Bye.